Hi, this is Merrill with Tax Tutor. Today I wanted to talk about an account that you can set up with the IRS that gives you transparency with your tax records. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. So what is this account? It's a special account that the IRS has not offered before. It's a one-stop place that you can go and see everything that's going on with your account. You can see your IRS records. You can see payments that you've made. You can also make payments. You can schedule installment payments and do a lot of other things. You can get your transcripts from the IRS, which shows everything that the IRS has on record for you. You can also see if the IRS has issued you certain notices as well. The best way to see this and to understand it is to go online and to dig into that. So we are now going to switch to my computer. We're gonna go through the, IR, uh, the online account, what it is, how you set it up, and then we'll go through mine and show you everything that you can see inside that account. So let's switch over to the computer now. All right, so there are a number of ways that you can find your IRS account. So you could just go to irs.gov and currently it's right here on their main page, sign into your account. You click that and sign into your online account. If you go to the front page of the IRS website and don't see a link somewhere on that front page, you could search IRS account in their search box and then it'll show view your account information and then you can go to sign into your online account there. Another way to do it is just to do a general Google search, just search for IRS account and you'll get this, uh, your, IR, your online account. Click that and then sign into your online account there. So a number of ways to, to get there, um, but all roads kind of lead to this login page here. So now, if you do not have an account with the IRS, then you need to create one. And to create one, it's this id.me to create an account. So you'd click here and then enter email, password, confirm your password, and then create an id.me account. Uh, or you can also sign in with Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn if you have accounts with those platforms. And so that will get you set up there. There is a note here that says, if you have an existing IRS username, please create a new ID plus me account as soon as possible. We're bringing you an improved sign-in experience. You won't be able to log in with your existing IRS username and password starting in the summer of 2022. And if you're a new user, please create an account with ID.me. ID.me is our trusted technology provider in helping to keep your personal information safe. So that's what they have there. So you can click there, uh, create that account, and then you'll be able to log in. So I'll log into my account and then show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so once you log into your account, this is what it looks like inside. So it says welcome and then your name. Uh, I'm Merrill Taylor, so there's my name there. Uh, each account is different for each spouse. So this is my personal account. My wife would have her own account. So since we file a joint return, uh, we each have to have our own account. So every individual, every taxpayer, every spouse, every individual has their own account. So uh, it'd be good for each person to go and sign up with their account. And then you can see inside here, there's just all sorts of information and all sorts of tabs and things that we can look at. So we'll explore through these. Uh, it says tax filing season has now begun. Make sure to gather all the information so you can file an accurate 2021 return. For additional information about filing, see tax information for individuals. So it takes you to this nice thing where you can go to this reconciled child tax credit payments, view your tax account, get your transcript. transcript. Uh, it's got another number of uh, links here, types of filers, just a lot of information for individuals. Then it has this for tax loss specific or for tax loss questions specific to your individual circumstances. See the interactive tax assistant, this ITA. So you can go here and you can look up, put in questions and get help with, uh, you know, do I need to file a return? Should I file an amended return? What's the due date of my return? There's a number of questions and information here that you can get from that link. Then uh, here you can look at your balance. So it says your 2021 tax return is not processed um, and that's due by April 18th. So that's for 21. Uh, here is the section where you would go and make a payment. So click here to make a payment. So if we click here, it takes us here to payment method. So here you can pay by your bank account, pay by a card, and then select your payment. 
Uh, pay toward the balance, pay balance in full. So if I had a balance due, then I'd pay that. Uh, pay towards your balance. So if we're filing a return and we have a balance due on that, so in this case, if we filed the 2021 tax return and had a balance due, we could put that in there, put the payment amount. If you're filing an amended return and you have a balance due on an amended return, you put the year of, that you're amending and how much you're paying. If you're making an estimated tax payment, so this would be for the upcoming tax year. So you can see you can't pick more than one tax year. So we've got 2022 is the uh, current year that, that you can make a payment. You'd put your payment amount in there. And then those payments for estimated payments are due April 15th, June 15th, September 15th, and then uh, January 15th. Uh, if you are making an extension, so if you're filing for an extension and you're making a payment amount, you'd file it and put it there. There is no tax year to put for that because you can only extend one year. So that would be for the current year that you're in filing the extension for. And then a proposed tax assessment. So if you got a CP2000 notice and they're proposing tax that's due, if you wanted to get a payment made to close off any penalty and interest that was accruing, uh, you would just pick whichever year is the um, CP2000 for and then whatever payment amount that would be due. And then it shows here the, pay the date that the payment will be credited by. Now, if we want to do a pay towards your balance, let's say you're filing a return and you owe money, owe tax for 2021, payment amount, let's say it's $10,000, you can put that there. Then when you click next, it takes you to this screen and then you just check if you're making a checking or a savings payment, put your routing number, confirm the routing number, so that'll be the nine digits, it even says there are nine digits, and then put your account number, confirm your account number, and then mark if you want an email confirmation, I would always say yes, get an email confirmation. So you got something in an email and then it'll have your email there. If you don't want that email, then you can edit that to go to a different email. Once you put that information in, you can click next. It will take you to the review and submit screen and then there'll be a button to submit and then it'll show a confirmation of payment submitted. So that is how you make a payment through your IRS account. Other things that are included in this account, uh, we'll leave this page here, is you can view payment activity. So this will take you to any scheduled payments that you have, any pending payments, and any payments that the IRS has processed. So that's also up here at payment activity. Uh, in your account home, you can view your tax records for various things. And those are all up here as well. View notices and letters, view authorizations. So we'll keep working through these tabs up top. So we have account balance here. Uh, we just showed how to make a payment. We don't have any balances due. If we did have a balance due, then we could go to here, frequently ask questions about balances. It'll take us to this IRS website where it has a bunch of uh, answers to a bunch of questions about balances due. You can go to payment options. That's where we just were to make a payment and it walks you through all those options that we just walked through. Payment activity shows what payments we have. Uh, we'll skip tax records for a second. Notices and letters, so if you had any notices from the IRS, and this shows um, of some IRS notices, so you may have gotten a notice that doesn't show up here, but um, some IRS notices could show up here, so this is a good way to go and see your notices. And then authorizations are right here, so you could see if anybody is authorized to view your accounts with the IRS. Now let's go back over here to tax records. So tax records start out here with your prior tax return summary. That's what goes there. This get transcripts online is a huge help. You can go here and then you'd select a reason for your getting those. Maybe it's uh, the higher education, the student aid, that'd be the FAFSA, the FAFSA um, application, FEMA or disaster related, state or local tax issue, mortgage, state licensing. If you wanna verify income, if you're just looking for federal tax, uh, you could mark any of these. I don't know that it makes much of a difference. Um, like if we just cl click income verification and go, it just brings you to this screen with a number of things. Um, no matter what you pick up here, healthcare, go, it, it all has the same thing. So I'm not sure why they have this drop down. Maybe it's just the IRS getting information as to why you're, you're looking for your account transcripts. That I'm not sure because no matter what you pick up here, you get the same options down here, which is basically just all of your tax transcripts. So this is your return transcript. So if you were to download this, it would show everything that was included on your tax returns for these years. 
so 18, 19, and 20. Record of account transcript. So this would show when you filed returns, how much tax you owed, uh, if you got a refund, when payments were made, if any penalties were assessed, just anything that, that goes on with your account itself. Uh, account transcript is similar to this record of account transcript. And then they have the wage and income transcript. These wage and income transcripts are really, really helpful because it shows everything the IRS has on record for you. Any W-2s, any 1099s, um, uh, mortgage interest, just any form that is filed with the IRS in your social security number will show up here. And again, this, uh, these accounts are individual to each person. So if you're married and you file a joint return, you would log into your account and your wage and income transcript would just show your information. Um, your spouse would then have to uh, log into their account to see what is on file under their social security number. So these uh, accounts are, are um, um, per individual in that way. The, tax, the return transcript would show everything joint together if you file a joint return. An account transcript would show that as well. It's just the wage and income transcript is specific to Social Security number. So those are really helpful information there. Uh, also in this tax records, you can look up your advanced child tax credit payment information. It will show here. Uh, I opted out of it. And... Um, I don't know if it shows that where I opted out, but I opted out of that. And so it shows zero there. And then down here is economic income and in impact payment information. These were the stimulus payments. So if I were to click on these, it would show the stimulus payments that, that, I, that I was sent from the government uh, for the stimulus payments. And so that is what is included in your account there. So as we return back here to this home page. Uh, this is kind of where it starts out. So you can see there's just a lot of information that you can get here. You can make payments. You can see what payments have been made. You can see your account balances. You can see any notices. You can see any authorizations. Uh, you can just do a lot of stuff inside this one account that has not been available before. This is brand new from the IRS and extremely, extremely helpful. Uh, so I would encourage you to uh, get this account with the IRS and make payments and, and check out your accounts and, and transcripts there uh, just so that you can be up, up on what the IRS has and just have that transparency with the IRS. All right, thanks for going through that with me and checking out the IRS online account online. Uh, again, it just gives you so much transparency. You can see so many things there with the IRS. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below.